was the Britishers who first introduced opium to the Konyaks by opening opium malls. And our region lies in the world's second largest producer of opium. So opium are easily available and are cultivated freely by the people. In our area, being in the indo myanmar border, opium from across the border easily flow into our area and the problem that we have here is a mass addiction to opium. Our society has been struggling with opium for many decades. There are many cases where the entire family is addicted to opium. ไม่ยังยังคือเบบี้ไข้ที่เราการนี้ทราบสิก็มองไปมันเรื่อยไปคือเบบี้อาบจังเกี่ยมมองมองฟังฟังสุดใจดีไม่รันเลยนึงเส
that uh, it will take two years or three years like that. But uh, there are so many clients who have uh, who were earlier into the opium use, but now they have uh, soon after they entered into the OST program. I mean, uh, some of them have already recovered. We have a data manager uh, who is overall in charge of this OST tablet. So we are also taking reports from each OST centers. So uh, every month we have to dispatch the OST to the three sub centers. It is our duty to dispense the OST tablets to all the three centers. I also usually go to all the three OST centers to take the OST report every month, which would be submitted to the Department of Health and Family Welfare, Nagaland, Kohima. And we are dispensing the OC tablets under the supervision of a medical doctor. As of now, the living standard of our people have improved a lot after launching this OC program. เออมึงพวงกันจะอะไรพวงคือเพียงของยี่เหลี่ยมยี่เหลี่ยมเดียวเลยยี่ปุ๊กกันยี่สับเตียนน่ะอาเฉลี่ยลูกอีสระเลย
Apa ang Every respective villages, village councils, students' unions, and the local church, and many more NGOs supported in this campaign. Many opium medics we are got, and some of them we are even sent to jail. We have started a recovery and livelihood support program, and we have opened bakery farm at all the three OST centers. So the recovering ethics are engaged in a constructive and positive activities there. As of now, we have three bakery farms. One is here at Topu Town, the another one at Monyaksu, and the another one at uh, Pesau. So in all these three, three uh, bakery farms, we have uh, one caretaker each. And their monthly honorium is supported by the Chekwa, with the support from the uh, Duta department. We are also visiting schools and making aware about this uh, opium addictions. And we are trying our best to eradicate this opium culture from our society. From time to time, we are also having a counseling session with the opium addictions. So, in this program, we are counseling them to reduce the dose so that. They recover soon. So most of the patients they have they are taking different doses. Some of the clients they are taking six mg's, some of the clients they are taking four mg, and some of the clients they are taking at zero point. Uh, three positive impacts that we could witness was one, we could see the addicts are slowly integrated back to their families and are taking up family responsibilities and also engage positively with the local uh, social organizations. And the second changes that we could see was we could uh, successfully stop the cultivation of opium and also the use and sale of opium to a large extent. And the third positive changes that we could see was there is a security to the assets and properties of the people that they have at their homes or in the fields or even shops, etc. There are normal cases of like taps and we don't, the complaint of such illegal or criminal activities have re uh, reduced drastically. OST आने के बाद तो बहुत से हो गया है और पहला तो ओपीएम खाने के टाइम में पूरा घर में खाने भी नहीं कुछ पैसा पासता है तो वो ओपीएम को दे देता था अभी तो पैसा भी सेफ होता है अभी ओएसटी आने के बाद तो अभी ओएसटी आने के बाद अच्छा हो गया ओएसटी सो है उनके मंत्रे तारे आवास आगो से बोलते थे कानिंग तेंग ब्रोंग तले ते जिधे ते तब चुन जम्मा सिंग लिंग पुंग यमंग है को साथ ले जो जी साथ नो 